in this very moment, as you hear these words, you stand at the threshold of an incredible discovery. The strength within you, the power that courses through your veins and ignites your spirit, is far greater than you've ever dared to imagine. This isn't about physical might or outward appearances, no. We're talking about something far more profound, the incredible power of your mind, the resilience of your spirit, and the boundless potential that lies dormant within you, waiting to be awake. Think back for a moment. Cast your mind to a time when you faced what seemed like an insurmountable challenge. Maybe it was a difficult exam that you thought you could never pass. Perhaps it was a job loss that left you feeling lost and uncertain about your future. Or it could have been a personal crisis that shook you to your very core. In those moments, you probably felt small, powerless, and overwhelmed. The weight of the world seemed to rest squarely on your shoulders, and you wondered how you could possibly move forward. But here's the incredible truth that you need to recognize and embrace. You made it through. You're here now in this moment listening to these words. That means you found a way to overcome, to persevere, to keep moving forward even when everything seems stacked against you. That inner strength, that indomitable spirit that carried you through your darkest hours, it didn't come from outside of you. It wasn't gifted to you by someone else. It was there all along, a wellspring of power and resilience that has always been a part of who you are. That strength you called upon in your moments of need hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there right now, waiting for you to recognize it, to harness it, to let it propel you towards the life you've always dreamed of living. It's the quiet voice that whispers keep going when everything else is screaming at you to give up. It's the spark that ignites in your chest when you're pushed to your limits, giving you that extra burst of energy to take one more step to try one more. It's the well of courage you draw from when fear tries to hold you back, allowing you to face your challenges head on even when every instinct is telling you to run and hide. Now let's be clear about something. True strength, real power, isn't about never feeling afraid. It's not about never doubting yourself or never feeling uncertain. That's not strength. No, true strength is about acknowledging those fears, recognizing those doubts, and then taking action anyway. It's about looking uncertainty square in the eye and saying, I may not know exactly how this is going to turn out, but I know that I have what it takes to handle whatever comes my way. Every single day, all around the world, ordinary people, just like you are doing extraordinary things. They're overcoming illnesses that doctors said were incurable. They're starting businesses from scratch with nothing but an idea and an unwavering determination to... They're repairing relationships that everyone else had given up on. They're pursuing dreams that they've carried in their hearts for years, maybe even decades. What sets these people apart isn't some magical ability or secret knowledge that only they possess. It's not about having more resources or better opportunities. No. What sets them apart is their decision, their unwavering, unshakable decision to believe in themselves and to keep moving forward one step at a time, no matter what obstacles they encounter along the way. I want you to imagine something for a moment. Picture in your mind's eye a mighty oak tree. See its thick, sturdy trunk reaching up towards the sky. Imagine its sprawling branches stretching out in all directions, providing shelter and shade. Now think about what you don't see when you look at that oak tree. You don't see the vast network of roots that lie beneath the surface, anchoring that tree firmly in place, drawing up the nutrients it needs to grow and thrive. Your strength, your inner power is like those roots. It may not always be visible on the surface. Other people might not be able to see it when they look at you, but it's there, always there, supporting you and nourishing you, helping you grow and reach new heights. Take a deep breath right now. As you inhale, I want you to imagine that you're drawing in all the strength and resilience you've built over the years. Every challenge you've faced, every obstacle you've overcome, every moment of adversity that you've pushed through, they've all contributed to who you are today. They've all added to your inner reservoir of strength. As you exhale, let go of any doubts or negative self-talk that's been holding you back. Release the limiting beliefs that have kept you playing small. Let them go because you don't need them anymore. They're not serving you, and they have no place in the incredible future that's waiting for you. You're capable of so much more than you realize. Your potential isn't fixed or limited. It's like a muscle that grows stronger the more you use it.
Each time you push yourself out of your comfort zone, each time you face a fear that's been holding you back, you're building that strength. You're expanding your capacity for growth and achievement. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This process isn't always easy. It's not always comfortable. In fact, it's in those moments of discomfort, those times when you feel stretched and challenged, that true growth happens. That's where the magic lies. Let me share an analogy that might help illustrate this point. Consider the humble caterpillar. For most of its life, it crawls along the ground, limited in where it can go and what it can do. But inside that caterpillar, hidden from view, is the blueprint for something truly amazing, a butterfly. When the time is right, the caterpillar builds a cocoon around itself. Inside that cocoon, a remarkable transformation takes place. The caterpillar essentially breaks itself down, turning into a soup of cells before rebuilding itself into something new and beautiful. Your life, your journey of personal growth and self-discovery is like that cocoon. The challenges you face, the setbacks you experience, the moments of doubt and uncertainty, they're all part of your transformation process. They're helping you shed old limitations, old ways of thinking, and being that no longer serve you. They're pushing you to emerge as something greater, something more aligned with your true potential. Just like the caterpillar, you have everything you need within you to become something extraordinary. The blueprint for your success, for your greatness. Your job is to trust in that process, to keep pushing forward even when things get tough knowing that each challenge is helping you grow stronger and more resilient. Now, I can almost hear some of you thinking, that sounds nice, but you don't know my situation. You don't know how hard things have been for me. You don't understand the challenges I'm facing, and you're absolutely right. I don't know the specifics of your life or your circumstances, but here's what I do know. If you're hearing these words right now, you've already shown incredible strength. You've made it through every single difficult day up to this point. You've weathered storms that might have broken others. You've faced challenges that would have made many people give up. But you're still here, still moving forward, still seeking to grow and improve. That, in itself, is a testament to the strength that lies within you. Your past struggles, the hardships you've endured, they don't define you. They refine you. They've taught you resilience, patience, and perseverance. They've shown you that you can survive things you once thought were impossible. Those lessons, those experiences, they're not burdens to carry. They're tools in your arsenal, ready to be used whenever you need them. They've equipped you with wisdom and strength that many others don't possess. Let's talk about fear for a moment. Fear is a natural part of life. It's your brain's way of trying to keep you safe, to protect you from potential harm or danger. But too often, we let fear stop us from pursuing our dreams or living up to our full potential. We stay in jobs we hate because we're afraid of the uncertainty that comes with change. We don't speak up for ourselves or share our ideas because we're afraid of conflict or rejection. We don't chase our passions because we're afraid of failure. It's often based on imagined outcomes, not reality. It's your mind playing what if games conjuring up worst case scenarios that rarely, if ever, come to pass. And even if those worst case scenarios do happen, here's something you need to remember. You're strong enough to handle them. You've handled difficult situations before and you'll handle them again. Your track record for getting through tough times is 100. So you've survived every bad day, every setback, every challenge that life has thrown your way. That's not luck or coincidence. That's a testament to your strength and resilience. Instead of letting fear paralyze you, I want you to start seeing it as a compass. When you feel fear, instead of backing away, lean into it. Use it as a guide pointing you towards the areas where you need to grow. If you're afraid of public speaking, that might be a sign that you need to practice and develop that skill. If you're afraid of starting a business, it might mean you need to learn more about entrepreneurship. If you're afraid of putting yourself out there and being vulnerable, it might be an indication that you need to work on your self-confidence and self-worth. Um, Fear can be a powerful teacher if you're willing to listen to its lessons and use them as fuel for your personal growth. I want you to think for a moment about someone you admire. It could be a historical figure, a current leader in your field, or someone in your personal life who inspires you. What qualities do you admire in that person? Is it their courage in the face of adversity? Their kindness and compassion towards others? 
their resilience in bouncing back from setbacks, their creativity and innovation. Whatever qualities you admire in others, you have the potential for those same qualities within you. When you recognize greatness in others, you're actually recognizing the seeds of that greatness in yourself. So how do you nurture those seeds? How do you build and strengthen the qualities you admire? It starts with small, consistent actions. If you admire kindness, look for opportunities to be kind each day, even in small ways. If you admire courage, do one small brave thing every day, even if it's just speaking up in a meeting or trying something new. If you admire creativity, set aside time each day to engage in creative pursuits, even if it's just for a few minutes. These actions might seem insignificant at first, but over time they add up. They shape your character, influence your self-image, and gradually transform you into the person you want to be. You become what you consistently do. If you consistently push yourself, even in small ways, you become someone who embraces challenges. If you consistently show up for others, you become someone known for their reliability and compassion. If you consistently work towards your goals, you become someone who achieves great things. It's not about making huge, dramatic changes overnight. It's about small, consistent actions that compound over time, shaping your character and your life in powerful ways. Now, let's talk about setbacks. They're an inevitable part of life, and they can be incredibly discouraging. Maybe you've been working towards a goal for months or even years, only to hit a major roadblock. Maybe you've poured your heart and soul into a project, only to see it fail. In those moments, it's easy to feel like all your efforts have been wasted. It's tempting to give up, to decide that it's not worth trying anymore. But here's a perspective shift that can change everything. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. It's not the end of your story. It's just a plot twist. It's a chance to reassess, to learn, to grow, and to come back stronger than ever. Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. That's the mindset of someone who understands true strength. It's not about never failing. It's about never giving up, about learning from each attempt and using that knowledge to fuel your next try. When you face a setback, I want you to do something that might feel counterintuitive at first. Take a moment to acknowledge your feelings. It's okay to feel disappointed, frustrated, or even angry. Those emotions are natural and valid, but don't dwell there. Once you've acknowledged how you feel, shift your focus to these questions. What can I learn from this experience? How can I use this setback to grow stronger? What would I do differently next time? By reframing setbacks as learning opportunities, you turn them from roadblocks into stepping stones on your path to success. Your mind is an incredibly powerful tool. And the thoughts you choose to focus on quite literally shape your reality. If you constantly tell yourself, I can't do this or I'm not good enough, you're programming your mind for failure. You're setting yourself up to see obstacles everywhere you look. But if you fill your mind with positive, empowering thoughts, if you consistently remind yourself of your strength and capability, you set yourself up for success. You prime your mind to see opportunities where others see only challenges. Now, this doesn't mean ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's not about living in denial or wearing rose-colored glasses. It's about approaching challenges with a mindset of how can I solve this? Instead of this is impossible. It's about recognizing your strengths and believing in your ability to learn, grow, and overcome whatever obstacles you encounter. I want you to start paying close attention to your self-talk. Notice the thoughts that run through your mind throughout the day. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, pause and reframe that thought. Instead, I'm terrible at this. Try I'm still learning and improving. Instead of this is too hard, try this is challenging, but I can figure it out. These small shifts in your thinking might seem insignificant, but they can make a huge difference in your confidence, your motivation, and ultimately your outcomes. Your words have incredible power. Not just the ones you say to others, but especially the ones you say to yourself. Make a habit of speaking kindly to yourself. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small they might seem. Acknowledge your efforts, even when the results aren't perfect. Be your own biggest cheerleader, your own most ardent supporter. The world can be tough enough without you being hard on yourself, too. In today's world, 
of social media and constant connectivity. It's all too easy to fall into the trap of comparing yourself to others. You scroll through your feed and see carefully curated highlights of other people's lives. Their successes, their achievements, their seemingly perfect relationship or careers. And in comparison, your own life might feel lacking. But here's the truth that you need to remember. Someone else's success doesn't diminish your worth. Someone else's strengths don't negate yours. Your journey is unique, and it's not meant to look like anyone else's. The only person you need to compare yourself to is who you were yesterday. Are you growing? Are you learning? Are you moving even if it's just small steps towards your goals? That's what truly matters. Your progress is your own, and it's valuable regardless of what anyone else is doing. Instead of getting caught up in comparisons, I want you to focus on collaboration and community. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. Look for ways to support others in their journeys. When you shift from a mindset of competition to one of cooperation, you'll find that there's more than enough success to go around. Your success doesn't come at the expense of others, and their success doesn't diminish your own. There's room for everyone to thrive and achieve their dreams. Let's talk about resilience. It's the ability to bounce back from difficulties, to adapt in the face of adversity. It's one of the most important strengths you can develop. And the good news is that it's like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Building resilience isn't about avoiding challenges or hardships. It's about developing the confidence and the tools to handle whatever life throws your way. Building resilience starts with accepting that life will have ups and downs. There will be good days and bad days, successes and setbacks. That's not a flaw in the system. It's just the nature of life. The key is to maintain hope and a sense of purpose even when things are tough. It's about believing in your ability to weather the storms and come out stronger on the other side. One powerful way to build resilience is to practice gratitude. Even in the darkest times, there are things to be grateful for if you look for them. Maybe it's the support of a friend who stands by you no matter what. Maybe it's a moment of peace and quiet in the midst of chaos. Maybe it's simply the strength to keep going when everything seems to be falling apart. By focusing on what's good in your life, even when things are difficult, you build a reservoir of positive emotions that can help you weather the tough times. Another key to resilience is flexibility. Life rarely goes exactly as planned, and being able to adapt is crucial. This doesn't mean giving up on your goals or compromising your values. It means being willing to adjust your approach when necessary. Sometimes what seems like a detour might actually be a better path to where you want to go. Being flexible allows you to take advantage of unexpected opportunities and to find creative solutions to problems that might otherwise seem insurmountable. What you believe about yourself and your abilities has a huge impact on what you can achieve. If you believe something is impossible, you won't even try. But if you believe it's possible, even if it's difficult, you'll find a way to make it happen. Your beliefs shape your actions, and your actions shape your reality. If you believe you're capable of great things, you'll take the actions necessary to achieve them. If you believe you can learn and grow, you'll seek out opportunities to do so. If you believe in your own resilience, you'll bounce back faster from setbacks. So how do you change your beliefs if you find that they're holding you back? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to the thoughts and beliefs that run through your mind. Are they empowering you or limiting you? Once you're aware of limiting beliefs, you can start to challenge them. Look for evidence that contradicts those beliefs. Uh, seek out uh, examples of people who have overcome similar limitations. Remember, just because you've believed something for a long time doesn't mean it's true. Then start acting as if you already believe in your own strengths and capability. Even if you don't fully believe it yet, act as if you do. Take on challenges. Pursue your goals. Speak up for yourself. As you do these things and see positive results, your beliefs will start to shift. It's a process of aligning your actions with the person you want to become, and gradually, your self-image will change to match those actions. Remember, your beliefs are not set in stone. They're learned, which means they can be unlearned and replaced with more empowering ones. It takes time and consistent effort, but it's one of the most powerful changes you can make in your life. The beliefs you hold about yourself and your potential are the foundation upon which you build your life. 
Make sure they're strong, positive, and aligned with your true capabilities. Now, let's talk about the importance of taking action. All the positive thinking and self-belief in the world won't make a difference if you don't back it up with action. Your strength grows when you use it, when you push yourself beyond your comfort zone. It's like working out at the gym. You don't get stronger by thinking about lifting weights. You get stronger by actually lifting them, by challenging your muscles and gradually increasing the difficulty. Start with small steps. If you have a big goal that feels overwhelming, break it down into smaller, manageable tasks. Focus on making progress, not on being perfect. Celebrate each small victory along with these small wins, build momentum and boost your confidence, making it easier to take on bigger challenges. Remember, action beats an action every time. Even if you're not sure you're ready, even if you're afraid you might fail, taking action is always better than doing nothing. At worst, you'll learn something that will help you do better next time. At best, you'll surprise yourself with what you're capable of achieving. Don't wait until you feel 100 or confident. You might be waiting forever. Instead, take that first step, however small it might be, and trust that you'll figure things out as you go. It's important to remember that you are not alone on this journey. Even when you feel isolated or overwhelmed, there are people who care about you and want to see you succeed. Don't be afraid to reach out for support when you need it. Asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of wisdom and strength. It shows that you're self-aware enough to recognize when you need support and courageous enough to ask for it. Your strength doesn't just benefit you. As you grow stronger, as you overcome challenges and achieve your goals, you become better equipped to help others. Your resilience can inspire those around you. Your kindness can lift others up when they're feeling down. Uh, your courage can give others the confidence to face their own challenges. By believing in yourself and living up to your potential, you create a ripple effect that touches countless lives. Think about the people in your life, your family, your friends, your colleagues, even strangers you encounter. How might your growth and success positively impact them? When you push through your own fears and limitations, you show others that it's possible. When you achieve things you once thought were impossible, you expand other people's sense of what's possible for them. Your journey of personal growth and self-discovery isn't just about you. It's about all the lives you touch along the way. So as you go forward from here, I want you to remember this. You are stronger than you think. You have overcome challenges in the past and you will overcome challenges in the future. You have untapped potential within you waiting to be realized. You have the power to shape your life and to make a positive impact on the world around you. Every day is a new opportunity to grow stronger. Every challenge is a chance to prove to yourself what you're capable of. Every setback is a setup for an incredible comeback. Believe in yourself. Trust in your ability to learn, to adapt, and to persevere. Take action towards your goals. No matter how small those actions might seem, you have everything you need within you. The strength, the courage, the resilience, it's all there. Your task now is to recognize it, to nurture it, and to use it. Don't wait for someone else to tell you how strong you are. Don't wait for perfect circumstances or for all your doubts to disappear. Start now, right where you are, with what you have. Remember, the oak tree doesn't grow to its full height overnight. It grows slowly, steadily, weathering storms and reaching towards the sun. Your growth might not always be visible day to day, but over time, you'll be amazed at how far you've come. Trust in the process. Trust in yourself. You are capable of incredible things. You are resilient beyond measure. You are stronger than any obstacle in your path. Believe these truths. Live these truths. And watch as you transform your life and the lives of those around you. Your journey to realizing your true strength starts now. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. Every challenge you face is an opportunity to grow. Every day is a chance to become a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. So go forth with confidence. Face your fears. Pursue your dreams. Lift others up along the way. And always, always remember you are stronger than you think. The power is within you. Use it and watch as you create a life beyond your wildest dreams. As we come to the end of our time together, I want to leave you with a challenge. 
For the next 30 days, I want you to do one thing each day that pushes you out of your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be something big or dramatic. It could be as simple as striking up a conversation with a stranger, trying a new food, or spending 15 minutes learning a new skill. The goal is to consistently stretch yourself to prove to yourself that you're capable of more than you might think. Keep a journal of these experiences. Write down what you did, how it felt, and what you learned from it. At the end of the 30 days, look back and reflect on how far you've come. I think you'll be surprised at the growth you see. Never strength isn't about being fearless. It's about feeling the fear and doing it anyway. It's about recognizing your own power and using it to create the life you want. You have that strength within you. Now it's time to use it. Thank you for listening, for being open to these ideas, and for being willing to explore your own potential. The world needs your strength, your courage, and your unique gifts. Go out there and show the world just how strong you really are. As we wrap up our time together, I want to share a final thought with you. Strength, true strength, isn't just about powering through difficulties or achieving great things. It's also about having the courage to be vulnerable, to show compassion, and to connect deeply with others. Some of the strongest people I know are those who have the ability to be gentle, to show kindness in a world that often seems harsh and unforgiving. Your strength isn't just for you. It's a gift that you can share with the world. When you tap into your inner power, when you overcome your own challenges and fears, you become a beacon of hope for others. You show them what's possible. You inspire them to find their own strength. Think about a time when someone else's strengths inspired you. Maybe it was a friend who faced a difficult diagnosis with grace and determination. Perhaps it was a public figure who overcame great odds to achieve their dreams. Or it could have been a stranger who showed unexpected kindness in a moment of need. Their strength touched you, didn't it? It made you believe that you too could be strong in the face of adversity. You have that same power, your journey, your struggles, your triumphs. They all have the potential to inspire and uplift others. Don't underestimate the impact you can have simply by being true to yourself and living with authenticity and courage. Remember, strength isn't about never falling down. It's about how many times you're willing to get back up. Life will knock you down sometimes. That's inevitable. But each time you rise, each time you refuse to give up, you grow stronger. You prove to yourself and to the world that you are resilient, that you are capable of overcoming whatever obstacles life puts in your path. As you move forward from here, I want you to make a commitment to yourself. Promise that you will no longer play small in your own life. Promise that you will no longer let fear or self-doubt hold you back from pursuing your dreams. Promise that you will recognize and honor the strength that lies within you. This doesn't mean you have to make drastic changes overnight. It doesn't mean you have to conquer all your fears in one fell swoop. It simply means that you commit to taking small, consistent steps towards becoming the strongest, most authentic. It means that you decide right here and now that you are worthy of living a life that excites you. And as you embark on this journey of self-discovery and personal growth, remember to be kind to yourself. Strength isn't about being perfect. It's about being willing to learn, to grow, to adapt. It's about treating yourself with the same compassion and understanding that you would offer to a dear friend. You are on a lifelong journey of becoming. Every day you have the opportunity to choose who you want to be, how you want to show up in the world. Choose strength. Choose courage. Choose to believe in yourself and your abilities. And on those days when choosing strength feels impossible, when the weight of the world seems too heavy to bear, remember, you've made it through every single difficult day up to this point. You've survived every storm, weathered every challenge. That's not luck or coincidence. That's strength. That's resilience. That's the... So go forth from here with your head held high. Knowing that you are stronger than you think, more capable than you know, and worthy of all the good things life has to offer. Your strength is your superpower. Use it wisely. Use it often. And watch as it transforms not only your life, but the lives of those around you. 
Thank you for being here, for being open to these ideas and for being willing to explore the depths of your own strength. The world is waiting for you to shine. So go out there and show everyone, including yourself, just how bright your light can be.